How's it going, everyone? Nazim45 with some more Star Trek Online. That's, I, I messed that up already. Wow, I'm literally 30 seconds after pushing the record button, and I've already messed this up. Okay, great start. Anyway. Another remote decrepit station with most of the power out. Not exactly prime real estate. I wonder where Dr. Sibrick is sequestered. You know, for being a robot make of photonic reinforcement, that was an excellent sense of humor. Thanks. Anyway, we are playing Hearts and Minds today. This is the, uh, the special mission that, uh, they... It, it's one of the rarer missions. It's one of the rarer missions that they have in the game, just because they only release this mission for people to play on quote-unquote spooky days, that being Friday the 13th and any Halloween that comes up, which there's only one a year. I don't know why I said any, but anyway, I've actually, if you if you've been a if you've been a fan of my channel for any long amount of time, you might actually remember I've done this mission before. Uh, I played this mission literally three years ago. I am going to equip this so I don't die. Now I will not die because of the gas. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I played this mission a long time ago with Mr. Fight Monster 118. Um, so yeah. Long, long time ago. So it's blue, green, white. Okay, so this... That one. That one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but... Oh, I screwed myself. I gotta do this. Okay, I want that. Then I want that. Then... Boom, boom. Got it. So the reason we're replaying this again today is just because it's a little bit of a special event, and I always liked this mission in particular, just because it's always held a little bit of a special place in my heart. Because when I made my original subscriber special video uh, a very long time ago, I, I heavily got inspired by this mission in Dr. Spock's story. Um, if any of you have not seen Darkness Under Veil, I have a small playthrough of it on my channel I did a couple years ago, uh, where you, where it, it, it's, I, I don't know, for, for, for a first attempt at the Foundry mission, I, I always liked it, but. It's Dr. Sibling. He's been dead for a while, but the body is well preserved. Someone conducted an autopsy on him and a neurological examination. That means that someone else must be here. So, one of the reasons that we're playing this today, uh, besides just being, you know, one of my favorite little missions in Star Trek Online, is I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. We, we, we've been around 1,600 subscribers lately, and I want to thank you guys for all the support and j just everything that you guys have been doing lately. I, 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 I'm, I'm, words really can't describe how much I want to thank you for that, so... Um, the data entry says the medical log, the experimentation with the neurotoxin as a means to trigger damage and subsequent bioresponse shows promise. Culturing additional specimens, ionizing radiation causing visions, must log for further research into car 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 pro projections. Yes. Specimens showing additional aggression, likely side effect of radiation exposure, locking down interior containment doors with simple access code of Fibonacci sequence, easily remembered. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I don't even know what the Fibonacci sequence is. Is that the, is that the, is that like where it's one, and then one, and then two, and then three, and then five, and then eight, and so on? Is that how that goes? Is that the Fibonacci sequence? Anyway, emotive control faculties regenerating. Huge success. Difficulty concentrating on telepathic transfer, replicating a space more conductive to concentration of the ionizing zones. So, if we don't know what's going on here, he's dealing with, uh, he's kind of dealing with, uh, testing neurotoxins on <clears throat> specimens. So the other reason I wanted to talk to you guys was... Uh, as I mentioned a little bit before, Fight Monster 118. Uh, we've been we've been talking together recently, and he's lately been hounding me nonstop to try the Mass Effect game series. And with the job situation currently I'm in, that being I don't have one, but might have one soon. I have no idea. I'm kind of maybe possibly in need of a secondary series once again on my channel. Maybe possibly I don't know yet. We haven't really... Wow, I thought there were more spiders in here last time. Oh, there's one still over there. Hey. I see you hiding back there. Anyway. So, what I want to know is... The Mass Effect series. Would you guys like to see Mass Effect 2? Now, I realize that the new game Mass Effect Andromeda will be coming out soon-ish. Heck if I know when. But I don't know if it, my system requirements would be able to run that. However, the reason I point out the Mass Effect 2 game in particular, if you go on Origin right now, 
uh, EA and EA's origin. Mass Effect 2 is currently on the house. AKA, I, I got it for free the other day. <laughs> so, there's that. And I googled, you know, you don't have to play the first game to play the second one. It's not like, it's not like required, like story-wise and all. Like, it's better if you do, but like... So, anyway, I have Mass Effect 2 now. So, I, I know literally nothing about Mass Effect whatsoever. Like, I, I know it's in space. There, there's a guy named Shepard, and there's a cool talking lizard named Garrus. That's that's my entire extent of knowledge of the series. Like, I, ju I just gave you a full lowdown on everything I know. Leave a comment in below. Like, please do leave a, a comment in the section below to tell me if you guys would want to see Mass Effect 2 as a secondary series on this channel alongside Star Trek Online and Star Wars Battlefront, which I, I do every few weeks. Moving on with the mission. Research of the bodies has been promising, but symptoms of Bendy syndrome most readily manifest themselves in behavior rather than biology. To facilitate testing, I am engaging in a series of mind melts to give each experimental subject a copy of my personality. Any subject with Bendy syndrome will display a re ab aberrant behavior. Aberrant? What the heck is that word? I don't know what that word is. Do you know what that word is? You're a computer. Can you Wikipedia it for me? Aberrant is an adjective meaning departing from an accepted standard or diverging from the normal type in biology. Wow. Uh, th thanks. Okay. Huh. I, uh... I didn't actually think that would work. Anyway, let's go. My skills are never <laughs> appreciated. So yeah, uh, since today is actually a Friday the 13th of the year, this mission has been uh, reactivated. Uh, also, in other news for Star Trek Online, we just got word that we are going to be getting clones, a room full of clones. Oh no, what are we ever going to do? I totally didn't know this was going to happen. Anyway, we're going to be getting, I think it's Star Trek Online, A New Frontier is the title of uh, Season 12 that we're about to get. And hello, Dr. Sebak. Your presence here introduces an unknown variable to my research. Completion of my research is paramount importance, therefore you must be eliminated. It is only logical. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's a little bit of a problem, but... You just stunned me? Really? Okay. Smackdown time. I really should have brought my repulsor beam thing that I, uh, I had before. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't mess with an our Starfleet officer, should ya? No. No, look at that. You're on fire now. See what it got you. See what it got you. I didn't know you could... How do I have a holographic combat drone? You can do that? How did you get... Where did I get a holographic combat drone? I don't use this guy enough. I really should use him more. I don't... I don't use him often enough. And yet my loyal TU is still unwaved. The clones are waiting to be decanted. They seem to be exact physical copies with a bit of replicative fading, of course. Captain, there are no telling how many more of these clones might be on the station. The clone we just faced took signs of radiation poisoning. They might be performing even more dangerous experiment. So, I, you know one of the other things I really like about this mission? Is the story behind it. And I think I discussed this last time me and Fight Monster played it literally three years ago. But the story behind this mission is that someone that works at Cryptic, or geez, it might even have been Atari at the time, but whoever worked at Cryptic who made this, they did it out of their own volition. They did it out of their own time. They were not paid to make this. They did it purely out of love for the game and of the players. And I will always respect whoever made that. So to whoever, whoever made this mission all those times ago, the utmost props to that person because they, they, they're they the real MVP <laughs> of this game. And I also really kind of like how this game, this mode was handled. Um, how this mission was handled afterwards because a lot of players were like very upset at the time of like well why is it only available on the friday the 13th of halloween it should be made available worldwide all the time it should be blah 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 and you know what happened after that all this rage on the forum someone on the dev team it might have been taco i don't remember uh 
I, I read this somewhere, but someone on the dev team commented back on the forums, and he just laid down the smackdown on these people who were saying this. And I, 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 I always appreciate the dev who did this too, because he went out and just flat out said, how dare you? How dare you complain about this mission? This was given as a gift to the players. The person who made this was unpaid. They did this completely on their own time. And I think he might have closed the, uh, the thread after that, but he shut that conversation down real quick. And you know, as it should be, you know. Logic requires that your unstable element must be eliminated. Okay, I don't remember voice acting in this. Cool. <laughs> that, okay, that, I'm not gonna lie, that freaked me out a little bit. I wasn't expecting voice acting in this. Like, I, I honestly didn't remember voice acting in any of this. I thought, I thought, okay, that was freaky. Where the heck did you find, oh, there you are. Man, you just teleport all over the place, don't you? I am a hologram. Anyway, so yeah, that was where all the clones were hiding. Clones, psychonically imprinted, so that he could test them for possible cures to his own Brenty syndrome. At least he didn't manage to kill anyone else. No wonder cloning is an ethically murky issue. We can leave and report back whenever you are ready, sir. <laughs> no, not now. Not now. I, I, I still love this mission. You know, three years later, since the first time I played this, and, you know, the rewards I'm going to be getting for this are redundant now. You know, despite, despite the fact that this mission is very old and stuff, and the story is a little bit lacking. I don't mean that it's a bad story or anything, but I mean, like, it's very, it's very simple and stuff. You know, despite all that, I still love it. I still love it. It's just, it's such a, it's a tribute kind of a, of a mission. And I really appreciate that for this kind of game. So anyway, that was Hearts and Minds, everyone. Um, if you're watching this video, well, sorry, you can't actually play it. It's, it's too late now. So, but uh, if you want to play it again, that's, that's going to be around next Friday the 13th or Halloween or quote unquote, whatever cryptic deems as a spooky day, whatever the heck that means. So once again, let I could have sw- he, he just moved! What the heck? Oh, what the heck? They're moving! Why are they moving? Why are they twitchy? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna end it here. So, remember to leave a comment down below what you think if, uh, if you want me to play Mass Effect 2 on this channel as a secondary series or not, or your thoughts on that, let me know. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.